Alzheimer's disease is the most common form of dementia in people over the age of 65 and has a tremendous economic and social impact on the lives of millions of people. News that Viagra might be used to treat this condition may turn out to be a major breakthrough. Stick around to find out more about this. Alzheimer's disease is a decline in memory and thinking that usually occurs in people over the age of 65 and that is accompanied by the abnormal clumping of two proteins in the brain, beta amyloid and tau leading to characteristic changes known as plaques and tangles. The buildup of these two proteins causes the connections between the nerve cells in the brain to malfunction, and this impairs the formation of memories, which is a key process in Alzheimer's disease. The body produces a chemical called nitric oxide that decreases the damage done to the nerve cells in the brain by beta amyloid. And one way to increase the amount of nitric oxide in the brain is to take Viagra. In 2009, scientists at Columbia University conducted experiments on mice genetically engineered to have a mouse version of Alzheimer's disease to see if Viagra could prevent or reverse the symptoms of the disease. The results were promising. Viagra decreased the amount of beta amyloid in the brain, reversed the memory impairment, and boosted memory and nerve cell formation in the mice. And on top of that, this effect lasted for a prolonged period after the drug was stopped. Scientists at the Cleveland Clinic then did an analysis of the insurance records of over 7 million patients and found that those who took Viagra had a 69% decreased incidence of Alzheimer's disease. Viagra was approved over 20 years ago for the treatment of erectile dysfunction. It causes the dilation of vessels by inhibiting an enzyme known as phosphodiesterase 5 or PDE5 and it has been used up until this point in the treatment of ED and in the treatment of high blood pressure in the vessels of the lung. Phosphodiesterase enzymes are also found in the brain. Without a randomized controlled clinical study to confirm these findings, we cannot be certain that it was indeed Viagra that caused the decrease in incidence of Alzheimer's disease observed by these researchers. And since the incidence of Alzheimer's disease is higher in women than in men, any such clinical study must include women as well. Only one drug approved for the treatment of Alzheimer's disease so far decreases the levels of beta amyloid in the brain, but it can have serious side effects including swelling of the brain. Viagra has now been in use for over 20 years, and its side effect and safety profiles are well known. In addition, it is now available as a generic, sildenafil, so that repurposing Viagra to treat Alzheimer's disease would proceed quicker and be a cheaper alternative to developing a new drug from scratch. Based on the results of the Columbia study done on the mice, it is very likely that this effect of Viagra will be confirmed in upcoming clinical trials. But until such trials are completed, we can protect our brains by making healthy lifestyle choices, including regular exercise, eating a healthy diet, not smoking, and controlling conditions such as diabetes and hypertension. I hope you found the information contained in this video useful and inspiring. If you did, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Until we meet again, thanks for watching.